Look at this. Look at this. It's been a long time since we've spoken, my brother. How are you doing, Alexander? I'm good. I'm good, my brother. Long time no see. Happy to see long, you. Long time no see indeed. Uh, indeed. Last time we did see you was against Jan Blahovic, right, in the octagon, of course. You yeah. blew your knee out. What was the injury there? Uh, completely ACL uh, torn uh, and menisc. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, well, well, you're back, uh, you're, you're better, you're healed, you're rested, you're hungry, you're in Vienna right now? Yes. Better than ever. That's, that's where you live, Vienna? Yes, yes, I live in Vienna. Uh, yeah, I'm I born there, I, I live there, I train there. Uh, yeah, I've nice. been overseas as well to train. Uh, a, a lot of places training, you know. But, uh, yeah, I have a very good trainers here. Sparring partner is going to come. So, yeah. Nice. So what have you been doing since we last saw you? I mean, I, we'll talk about the fight with Yuri in just a minute in your personal life. You've been good. Anything new mm -hmm. in your world? Uh, no, I mean, it was a hard time, of course. One and a half years is, not a, is, not, is, is a long time, you know. I've been working on my rehab and... Uh, working on my skills, you know, when I was able to train again, like the boxing, kickboxing, all martial arts, and I'm pr improving constantly. And, uh, yeah, I took my time and, you know, it's, it's God will, you know, it needed to be happened because uh, this uh, showed me uh, my patient to be calm, you know, calmness. I think this is the one thing what was missed, you know, in my career to stay calm, you know, if we are talking like... Uh, like, let's say, uh, example, before the Jan fight, you know, I was not calm. Uh, like now I, I do, I believe more in myself, you know, in my, in my abilities. And th this calmness, you know, just made me a better mm. fighter, better athlete. Yeah, th that, that's what it's all about. I mean, you're only 31 years old. And it took me, I think, yes. until almost the end of my career to, to, to master this. You know, because as you yes. said, the, the calmer you are, the better you perform. You know, I always say this, when you're in a crazy, frantic state of mind, you're never the best version of yourself in anything, you know, regardless of what you're doing. You know, so if you're going in fighting the best fighters on planet Earth and your mind's going a million miles an hour and you're angry and you're acting out of emotion, how are you supposed to fight True. and beat the best martial arts on the planet? No, it's not possible. Yeah. No, you need to be ice cold, you know, no emotions, because if you get emotion, you know, and, and the, 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 the crowd, you know, get under your skin, the opponent gets under your skin before the media or something like that, then you already kind of lost, you know, the fight. Because if you are emotional, you don't see the details, you know, and you know, you know it by yourself, one small wrong step, one uh, inch, you know, shorter and the fight is over. Yeah, no, absolutely. So we're going to try and get you mad now, though. We're going to try and bring back the old Alexander Rakic. <laughs> Come on, buddy. We need a bit of shit talk because normally on, on Mondays we have Anthony Smith on here, right? Yeah. And Anthony yes. said to ask you about Yuri Prohashka. He said, because Alex says, and this is not my words, Yuri, if you see this, this is Anthony Smith. I am merely a vessel. Yes. Right? Yes. He said this... Alex says that this whole martial artist thing is bullshit and, 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 and you'll tell us all about it. He said, you don't like Yuri <clears throat> one little bit. Oh, he is a fake samurai. <laughs> He's fake. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, honestly, I believe, uh, you know, he's living this, uh, this uh, thing, samurai uh, thing, like for a couple of years right now. And he's building, you know, UFC loves this shit, you know, to, to see him like a samurai going with a sword, training, you know, hitting the tree and this and that. It's good, man. A couple of years ago, you know, you, you didn't know about the, you know, you know how he became samurai? His coach gave him a book and he wrote a book like 50 pages and then he became a samurai, you know. Man, are you joking or what? Stay real, you know, and oh, it's okay, you know. I can also... Uh, they call me rocket, but uh, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not uh, living like a rocket. You know, I'm. I'm not like in a, in a lab. I don't not uh, like putting something on my. You know what I mean? You know, I don't believe this. You know, honestly, I don't believe it. 
he's a great athlete and uh, maybe he found this uh, thing for himself that worked out very good maybe he need also to be more calm because uh probably he was not calm at a young age uh mm. that's what i hear you know some some bar fights hooligans that and this and that because you know you need to you need to think we are living not far from each other yeah we are like living two hours by car you know it's like maybe from los angeles until uh from Los Angeles and Vegas, it's, it's this, yeah. this amount, you know. Manchester so, to Birmingham is nothing. Yeah, or, or yeah, and and you know, you have some friends, you know, and from them the friends are talking, you know. I hear about that, you know, nothing, you know. I only hear things. I don't nothing if, if it's hundred percent, but uh, you know, those stories don't came up like normal. Yeah, so, so it was Anthony that told me to ask that. To be fair. And I don't know, but I, I think a lot of mixed martial artists, I mean, I was kind of wild when I was younger. Anthony Smith was. He's very, been very open about that. And and Yuri, I, I think he's even told us. I think he told us once at fighting yeah. meetings when, when he was younger, you know, like some some crazy wild street fights and things like that, you know. He's living in the Czech Republic, bro. <laughs> that, that's, that's a tough place. Um, yes, it is. But we, yes. We, all, we all grow as people. Yeah. I mean, like like you said now 100% i i myself i was also in the park in the, in the streets you know i fought my ass off you know there i had also my my things you know but uh sport saved my life you know sport uh, saved uh, me from uh, you know i grew up in vienna not the best place where a lot of crime is drugs you know uh, gangs blah 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 mm. so you know but you know coming back for the samurai thing Yo, probably he found his way to calm down, to get away, you know, and and to not be like uh, aggressive like he used to be. Uh, that's good for him, but uh, let it be for him. Don't uh, publish so much, you know. It's getting I'm get tired of this. Is is there a little bit of tension between you two? I'm kind of sensing a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, could be. You know, we are just figuring out who the king of Europe is. <laughs> You know? <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah it will be a very good fight because he's a very competitive act attractive fighter you know with a lot of hype on it a uh, very unique style you know and even the look you know mm. so it's, it's like to see and uh, yeah after Jan pulled out you know for me was only one name uh, that I want to fight and that's Yuri Prohaska yeah, yeah, and it makes sense, and it's a huge fight card, and it's great to have you back, Alex. I, I love watching Thank your you. fight. The, the, Thank that, you. It, it was a knee injury to Jan Blachowicz. Other than that, you've only got one loss in the UFC. So yeah. do you think... And this was, this was split decision. They robbed me. The bastards. The judges they did it again. Me. I guess but Volkan you know, Uzdemir. You know, like Dana said, never leave it to the judges, that he is 100% true, you know. But if I rewatch the fight... But, you know, anyways, two losses in UFC, one I got dropped, one I got injured, mm. you know, if I can decide to, to lose uh, a way, to, if I can decide how I want to lose, I would never going to choose to be injured, but if they give me a loss, only robbery, you know, so basically <laughs> I am unbeaten in the UFC, <laughs> nobody yeah, beat yeah. me. All right, there it is, <laughs> Alex, the unbeaten racket, you gotta, you got to change the name. Yeah, true. <laughs> Alex, I the have unbeaten. Couple more years. They say never let it go to the judges. Nobody's yes. letting it go to the judges. We're all trying to finish our opponents. It's just hard when you're fighting really good guys. Uh, real cool. quick before we talk about your approach, what do you think of Yuri's performance? Per performance, performance against uh, Pereira back in uh, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> uh, honestly, until he got knocked out. For me, he was winning the fight. You know, the first good first round. You know, he took him down. He took some calf kicks. He took some, took some. But uh, you know, with Alex, he's very experienced. You know, and he kept calm. He didn't panic. You know, even he came into the second round knowing that he lost the first. He didn't panic. You know, and that shows you how experienced this guy is. So, like I said, until the finish, for me, was Yuri the better man. But, uh, you know, like I said before, one small inch, one small step, one small wrong, uh, mm -hmm. one thing, and then this. So in the, when the fight got ended, I was, like, surprised because I thought it's, gonna, it's, it's an early stoppage. 
because Yuri came up really fast after he landed on the on the on the on the ground and Alex over him on the mount, I think. So for me, it was a little bit early, but then later on, Yiri uh, said on his sh- social medias that uh, it was okay. So when he says okay, then for me, this is over, you know? I, I think everybody did. I was there in the crowd, and I remember thinking, whoa, like Mark Goddard is, is, is an old friend of mine. And I was like, yeah. oh, that was a bad stoppage. But then uh, Yiri came out, and he was like, no, I was out. And I thought that yeah. was very honorable. And that yeah. is something that maybe a samurai would do. <laughs> <laughs> you were always bringing that, you know? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, he was, you know, hats off. He was, like, honest, you know? He, he, he said that, you know? I don't know if I would say that in that, in that, in that uh, mm. situation right now, but... Maybe he said that in the cage, you know, after he got knocked out, you know, he still don't remember anything. But later on on the social media, he told us again, you know. So he was like honest, and uh, yeah, like I like, yeah, it was yeah. A, like he he will come back hundred percent. He's still young, you know. He's the same age like me. So I think we're gonna be in the top for a while, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Magomed Ankalaev got a big win at the weekend. Looks yeah. phenomenal against Johnny Walker. Uh, looks like he's probably going to face Pereira next. What do you think about that? Very good fight for, I mean, very good fight for the division. Ankalaev looked uh, good, you know. First round, you can give it Walker, you know. You could, you know, but w- I think Walker was thinking to 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 with his style, the axe kicks and the spinning back kicks and the capoeira shit to, to, to put uh, Magomed out of balance, you know, to get emotional. But you can't do it with uh, Magomed, you know. He's also an experienced guy. But, you know, I was a little bit uh, sad about the performance of, of uh, Walker. He, I think he didn't even throw one right, proper right hand, you know. And mm. so... Probably he's gonna fight uh, Pereira, and uh, I see, I see a slight advantage for Ankalaev in that fight. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think if you beat Yuri Prohashka, you could be next because your your record is phenomenal, as we said. Yeah. Uh, if you beat Yuri, a former champion, and then if Magomed beats Pereira, just just playing matchmaker here, who else is there? Is there anyone else that has a real? <clears throat> It's Hill. Wrong it's claim. Hill. Hill is here. Hill, oh, but I, of course. Yeah, but I don't know how long he's gonna take for recovery. You know, because uh, this uh, Achilles, you know, it's it's a very serious injury. They call mm-hmm. it also career-ending injury. Uh, injury. So you never know. You know. But I think Hill will come end of this year probably. But uh, I. I believe if I finish Yuri or put a great performance on UFC 300 with a uh, doesn't matter if it's a finish uh, or or a three round domination, I would be in the title picture, you know. Yeah. And of course, uh, you know, if I look good. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, you always look good, buddy. You're always fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> and I guess you. we'll see how all of that stuff plays out. For people that don't know you, Alex. Talk to us, you know, where did you grow up? What was life like for you when you were younger? Give us a bit of your background, a bit yeah. of your story, if you don't mind. Yeah, I no, no problem. Uh, I was, I grew, uh, I, I born in Vienna. My parents are from Serbia and I'm fighting also from Serbia. Uh, like Serbia is not far away from Austria, like five hours. I've been spent a lot of time there and I feel like a true Serbian. But I'm very thankful that I grew up in Vienna and Austria because my parents moved when the war starts from 90 to 95, they moved to Vienna. So mm. as a kid, I was always like hi- hyperactive, you know, kids, I always searching for, for action fights, everything. I played soccer until 13 and then uh, I was too violent in the games. So the coach kicked me out and then there, there were a kickboxing uh, gym five minutes from our uh, place where we live, lived. So I started kickboxing with 13. With 14, I had my four, uh, my first match. So I, I did kickboxing six years until I was 19. I did like some 30 or 40 fights. 
Austrian champion, and I did also some pro fights. And then kickboxing was also too uh, too too boring for me. So MMA was the next thing. So with 19, I switched to MMA, and immediately in that time, you know, 2011, there were no amateurs. So you go in right away pro, you know, you fight right away pro. Mm. So yeah, I I fought I fought pro. I lost my first fight, you know, because of the lack of grappling. Then I focus on the grappling, and then I put one win after the other. But growing up in Vienna, you know, you have 23 districts in Vienna. So every di- district has its own mentality, a old culture, you know. So I grew up in the 16 districts where a lot of immigrants are living, you know, like uh, mm. uh, Serbians, Croatians, Bosnians, Turks, now Arabs, you know. And, you know, when a lot of cultures, you know, together live, you know, there is always some trouble. So yeah. on on daily yeah. basis, you know, I had fights, I saw... Someone got stabbed. I saw drug selling. I saw that and that, you know. So, you know, you don't know when you don't see it, you know. And a, a guy, maybe in America, if you see, tell him Austria, Vienna, oh, it's beautiful culture. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. To me, to me, because I've never been there and I'm really yes. looking forward to going. In my mind, I think Vienna, wow, beautiful. Uh, yes. So, like, rich in culture and museums and classical music and stuff like that. That's the image that I have. But you're yes. saying, yeah, maybe that's there, but there's it's hundred percent. You have right. It's a hundred percent. We have all these things, but you have always a dark side as well, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like Americans. Americans think, and I say Americans. Uh, uh, some people they have this image of England that everyone's very posh and proper, and you know, yeah. very well spoken, and all the rest of it. I'm like, dude, come, 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 come up north. Do you know what I mean? And even in London. And as you say, with the immigrants, I mean, listen, it's it's a real tough situation because it's the same in the States right now and all over the world. It's a real messed up situation. But these people are yeah. desperate. You know what I mean? And, yes, 100%. And, you know, and it's just desperate people do desperate shit, you know? So, True. oh, dude. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah. Prohaska. Yes. How are we getting this done? What is what is the prediction for you? <clears throat> uh, I know. Honestly... I know, I know you don't want to hear this, but you know, I no, was. No, I want to so hear long, it. No, I was, I was out, you know, and uh, for a long time, and in 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 May gonna be two. I mean, April, almost two years that I didn't fought. So, let me talk into the cage. Let me talk in a cage. Let me talk with my fists, with my kicks, with my yep. elbows, you know, and let me show that I got better from the last fight and let me show the re- rocket 3.0, 3.0, please. Yeah, no, no, I love that. I love that because when, when was it? Let me just look right here. It was 14th of May, 2022. Yeah, so yeah it's going to be two years. That's a long so, time. Do you feel like you've got to kind of reintroduce yourself because the sport is getting bigger and bigger all the time? Yeah, I mean, I need to remind the guy, the people, you know, and the UFC who the rocket is, you know, to, to yeah. put uh, like uh, explosive kicks, uh, good wrestling, good grappling, you know, to show them that I'm the best all-rounder in the division. And I truly believe that I am because I'm working hard on every aspect of the game. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to mention any names, you know, in the division, but uh, there are some, some really lacks uh, of, of for grappling, wrestling, or striking. So, and I'm a complete version. I think next to Uncle Live, he is also very complete. Me and him are the most completely guys. So that's the reason I need to show that show show this on UFC 300. And what a better better way to have a comeback on this card, man! I was so happy, and I'm so glad. And I thank UFC, thank Mick Maynard uh, for giving me this opportunity against. A former champ, Yuri Prohaska. I'm so motivated, you know. And, you know, I want only to fight, you know, and I want only... And, you know, some people are gonna, some some people going to say, yeah, you didn't fight for two years. You have ring rust and this. Fuck that. You are going to have ring rust if you believe it. If you don't believe it, you're not going to have, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's what a lot of people say. They say it's a mental thing and it all comes down to the amount of sparring that you do. Yes. And I'm assuming you do a lot of sparring, Alex. I I spar really hard. I love hard sparring. I spar 
uh, 18-ounce gloves, you know, not, sometimes double shin pads, you know. Uh, they Interesting. We, so, so, so you can go harder. You put on huge gloves, 18 ounces, yeah. and double shin pads. Yes. I like that. Yes. I've, I've never heard of that before, but that's it sounds obvious. Yes. I mean, for striking, for hard kicks, you know, for, for, for hard punches, you know. And if you wrestle with, with the big gloves, uh, you, you, are, you, have a big, you have a big thing. What you, not, you can't use is your hands, you know, the grappling. But what you need to use is the other part of the, of the body, the forearms, the shoulders, mm. the hips, mm. you know, the knees. So if you get used to wrestle and grapple with the big gloves, of course, I spar also with small gloves. But if you get used to the big gloves and then when you switch off and then you have this big tool, the hands, it's a it's a extra it's a extra it's a extra gift you know mm. so yeah this is my my uh thinking of of that but well, well, well yeah you're smart because you kind of put in yourself at a handicap and then when you get the yeah. small gloves on it makes everything way easy it's like tie boxers tie boxers of course they got the big gloves on but they they have tremendous clinch work and foot sweeps and things like that and they do all of that um as a man that's austrian that's serbian that's speaking to me in English. Europeans generally put the Brits to shame because you speak multiple languages. How many languages do you speak? I feel like it's three. Yes, it is. I speak Serbian, I speak German, and I speak uh, English. But uh, former Yugosla Yugoslavia had eight countries. Oh. So if I, if I tell you that I, can, I understand Croatian and speak Croatian, speak Bosnian, speak Serbian, speak uh but it is you're just same. showing off now <laughs> it's a, it's a, brother it's the same language it's like english and 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 english in in the in the states it's just a dialect yeah. <laughs> so yeah, three yeah, yeah. yeah three like these viennans they're, they're normally so humble <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you say q harrington in serbian what q yeah q harrington Harrington's How? our producer. That's what everybody says ah. when they send a, a question. It's just a joke. <laughs> Yebise Harringtonu. <laughs> Yebise Harrington. Um, <laughs> Serbian is. I, I would have thought that was Russian. Uh, it's similar. similar. Yes. Yes. I. Some words are. I mean, not some. A lot of words are very similar. And uh, uh, some uh, when when they talk, you know, some kinds I understand. Yeah. Like uh, maybe, maybe forty percent, fifty percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I always say I'm going to learn another language. I pick it up pretty easy, but then I never stay there for long enough or whatever. Speaking of Harrington, you're Bissar Harrington. Get on. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, was, that, was that good? Was that right? Yeah, Bissar. Yeah, Bissar. Yeah, Bissar. Yeah, Bissar. <laughs> Harrington, yeah, Bissar. Um, do we have any questions on Twitter for the Rocket? Yeah, we have a couple, but I mean, can I just say for the, for the believers out there, send that in. Dude, just hit me with that. I won't even be a little bit offended. I love it. That's a beautiful language. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, so Banks Horse wants to know, uh, do you think uh, Blakovich or Yuri is the tougher fight? Oh, it's a very good question. Uh, if you're asking me, uh, physically wise, physically is harder for me, uh, Jan Blachowicz. Style wise, gonna be harder a year. Mm, yeah. Interesting. You know what? I've got a quick question. Stay on Hamilton. You don't have to yeah. jump off. Um, and uh, I'm thinking before I ask this question because I don't want to be insensitive. Anthony Smith, you've shared an octagon with him. You know how yes. capable he is. He's a great fighter. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, and, and, and you know, as fighters, we have ups and downs and all the rest of it. Yes. Would, would you have any words of advice for Anthony Smith right now? I would love uh, that he comes to Vienna and we can train together and tr and 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 share the mat together. I think uh, he can learn from me and I can learn from him because everybody knows anything, you know. And he's a great guy. Uh, I like him a lot. And I think uh, no, I don't think I know that he's gonna come back on this winning streak, mm. you know. And and because he still has has it, you know, in the fire in it. But you know. Talking about the last fight, it was a short notice fight and against a very, very unique fighter that you really need the time to get ready for it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, and I've got one question to follow up. 
I'm co- can I come with you? Because I want to go to Vienna. Yes, please. Yes, I please. want you to show me around. I don't know about how I much will. training I'll do. I will. I'll train. I'll come in. I'll, I've still got it, kids. But I want to fucking come and believe you me special to Vienna. Yes, please. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Please come. You know, we can organize after the fight. You know, after my fight, you and Anthony for a week, we can train. We can have some uh, time together. I'll show you Vienna. i show you some, you know, things outside of Vienna. Beautiful, you know. Probably, if you want, we can go also to Serbia. It's only five hours by oh. by 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 car. You know, you eat some very good food. So, so I don't want to put any extra pressure on you. If you win, we'll do this. If you lose, <laughs> we will. It's off the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, hey, hundred hey, percent th- in. Uh, that gives that gives us a good excuse to come and visit a beautiful place, Harrington. What else yes. do we have? Uh, all right, this is a pretty silly one. So Jim Miller uh, was the other guest on this episode. Um, and uh, Carl Heward wants to know, how many Jim Millers do you think you could beat at one time? I apologize. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> no, this man is a legend, man. Correct. I respect him 100%, you know. And uh, I can't answer this because uh, maybe he's submitting me in five seconds. You, you don't know. He, he would submit Brock Lesnar with a Kimura. Uh, that's what yeah. he said. Uh, Alex, uh, it's, uh, you got one more, Hamilton? Yeah, so uh, I just thought this one uh, from Sku Ski was interesting. So you've had nearly two years out of the octagon uh, by the time you fight at UFC th- uh, 300 here. What have you been doing to pass the time? Uh, recovering, uh, watching a lot of fights, studying, you know, the fighting game and uh, training. Uh, uh, training, you know, when I when I was able to, you know, the, the all all martial arts. And what I found a new sport for me is bicycling. You know, I bought a very good, nice bike uh, in the mountains. You know, in in on the, on the road. You know, it's very good for my for my head to just you know no think. You know, this is the all. This is the first thing what I what I what I what I learn. You know, what I figured out for me that. What I, when I'm doing that, I don't think on anything. Because if you do MMA, if you do any martial arts, you always need to think, you know, the next steps. So on, on this, I just drive and don't think, you know. And this yeah, I've been yeah. doing. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's good to clear the head. Clear the yes. head and just, like, be alone with your thoughts and things like that. So 100%. All right, yeah. well, listen, talking of being alone, we will leave you alone. Alex, really appreciate your time, brother. It's been a long time Thank since you. we spoke. I'm a big fan of your work. Yeah. I cannot wait for the comeback. It's going to be a great fight. And I wish you nothing but all the big success. So thank you, Alex. Take thank care. you, Mike. And see you in Vegas. Yeah. See you in Vegas, buddy. All the best. Thank, thank you. you.